Hi friends, welcome to the next session on VC++ MFC programming. So I am Santosh Avalamurti. So taking up the next session on class hierarchy. Now in the previous session, we understood that MFC is made up of many classes written by Microsoft, which helps us to ease our programming which gives a lot of support for the uh, programming in the means of classes. In today's session, we'll understand what is the base class for MFC, what are the other important classes, and how the various classes are derived from these classes, and is there any classes that are not derived from the base class. So this is a very important session. This helps you to understand the overall architecture of MFC, how the classes, I class, classes hierarchy has been defined. Now, the base class, the root base class for most of the MFC classes, not all the MFC classes, most of the MFC classes is C object. Okay. Now, what does C object supports? It supports serialization, it supports runtime class information, dynamic object creation, and object diagnostic support. Now, many of you might be wondering what are these terms. So, let me uh, explain these terms very briefly. Now, serialization means it's a concept of storing and retrieving the objects to a permanent storage. Right? For example, storing and retrieving an object let's say there is a class called c person which is derived from c object you can store the object and retrieve the object by putting them to its permanent storage for example a file that is called serialization runtime class information helps you to compare if a particular object is derived from a particular class or not Dynamic object creation is the creation of the object dynamically. Object diagnostic support talks about dumping your object and then using later for any analysis purpose. Now these functions doesn't come by default the moment you derive a class from C object. For that we have to use certain macros. Now before going to the macro, a class is created in MFC as two files. One is called the interface file or the definition file, which will have the extension of .h, and there is an implementation file with the extension .cpp. Now, what is the difference? The interface class file contains your member variables of the class and the various functions that you the various functions declaration is defined in the interface file whereas the implementation of these functions and the initialization of your member variables that is done in your implementation class or the cpp file implementation file or the cpp file so this is very very important so you have to always create a class as two files. One is the header file, one is the CPP file, okay? Now, these are the macros we need to use. One is declare dynamic, this you have to declare. You have to use this macro when you need the support of runtime class information. You need to use the macro declare dynamic create if you want the support for dynamic object creation and if you want the serialization, you have to use the macro declare serial. Now these macros have to be defined, included in the header file. And all these macros have corresponding macro called implement macro, like implement underscore dynamic, implement underscore dyn create, implement underscore serial, which have to be included in your CPP file. Now you might be wondering what macro I need to use for object diagnostic support that comes by default. So we need not use any macros 
to get this particular support okay i hope i understood so i am clear c object is the base class for the most of the msc classes and it supports serialization runtime class information dynamic object creation and object diagnostic support to get this particular support we have to use the macros and the declare macros are used in the header file and implement macros are used in the cpp file so this is a diagram which uh, shows you all the classes that are derived from c object as you can see there are plenty of classes i believe it's more than 100 so but for our benefit i have highlighted few of the classes which we'll be using or which we'll be uh, understanding more in the coming sessions so there is this c database and c record set this is for your odbc support c menu class that is for your menus c exception that is for exception handling c file is a file operations class and then there are a couple of arrays which we will be using frequently that is c string array and c uint array so c string array is used to store one or more strings as an array c uint array is used to store one or more unsigned integers in an array so next important classes are c command target and c wind so c command target is derived from c object and this is the base class for the mfc library message map architecture now what is this message map it's very simple and this is one of the most important uh, aspect of mfc okay which makes it more powerful now let's say in your application you have added a menu item let's say it's called save button so on click of this save menu okay the name is save now on click of this save menu your intention is to store a particular file to the disk right now in order to store the file or to do any operation you have to write the logic so that logic you will write in a function now how application knows that when you click this save menu it has to call that particular function and that is possible through message map so we will see more of it in the coming sessions one more example you want let's say you have a dialogue on the dialogue you have a button so on click of the button you want to do some processing so for processing you will write a function now how do you associate this function to the button click that is possible through message map okay so c command target that is the base class for the message map architecture next c wind is the base class for all the windows okay and we can use one of the classes derived from cbin or we can create our own window by deriving a class from cbin class now cbin is derived from c command target so on the top i have c object from the c object c command target from c command target it is cv so these are the various classes which are derived from c command target and cv again plenty of classes i believe it's more than 200 here so again i have highlighted few of the classes that we will be going through so on the top i have c object then i have c command target so few of the important classes under c command target or c document this is a document class which is especially used in case of document view architecture then we have c doc template again this is uh, used for uh, your sdi and mdi applications so sdi stands for single document interface mdi stands for multiple document interface so we will see this in the coming classes then we have c winthread class that is 
for the threads and CVNAP, that is the application uh, class. Okay. And we have few classes for the socket programming, that is async socket and C socket. Now, C win is derived from C command target. Again, there are a lot of classes derived from C win directly or indirectly. Again, few of the classes which are very important. So one is C status bar, then C toolbar. Then we have many, many controls. Your C button class, combo box class, daytime control, edit control, list control, list box control, then C dialog, which is the base class for all the dialogs and frame window classes and even the view classes again c view is a very important class for our document view architecture so as you can see so c object c command target and c win makes most of the classes of mfc so there are many classes which are not derived from c object Again, uh, there are quite a number of classes. So again, I have highlighted few of the classes here, which are important. So one is C command UI. So this is basically the class which is used whenever you want to enable or disable a menu item or a toolbar item. Then we have some data types like C point, which is a point of a class and C rec that is mainly for the rectangle class. And then we have C time that is for the time and c string it's an object which is mainly to support our string that is c string class so these are the classes which are not derived from c object okay so overall we can classify these uh, entire uh, classes based on the categories as shown in this particular snapshot so C object is mainly responsible for application architecture, uh, exception handling, file services, then arrays, graphical drawing, command line, menus, etc., and database support also. Then C command target, that is for the window support, it's mainly for our uh, message map architecture. Then C win, that is mainly responsible for all the dialog boxes, views, controls, frame windows, etc. And the classes which are not derived from C object, mainly they support our simple like value types like C rec or C point, C size, etc. Then there are various support classes which comes under classes not derived from C object. So that's all the overall uh, classification, uh, how the classes are derived in MFC. Okay. So the root class is C object, then we have C command target and C win, which caters to the most of the classes in MFC. Now coming to interview questions. So I've compiled few interview questions, which can be very, very useful. Either you are taking the interview or you are attending the interview. In all my future sessions, I'll be including the interview questions so that it benefits all of you okay now coming to the first question what is the base class of mfc the answers are c win c object c string and c command target yes the answer is quite simple here the answer is c object so whereas c win and c command target are directly or indirectly they are derived from c object and c string is not derived from C object. It's a separate class by itself. Next question. What are the functions supported by C object? Serialization, runtime class information, dynamic creation, and all of the above. And the answer is yes, all of the above, because C object does support all these functions. Next question. The macro to be used to support serialization is declare dynamic, implement dynamic, declare dyn create, implement dyn create, declare serial, implement serial, none of the above. So if you are 
familiar with the macros which we just discussed yes the answer is quite straightforward it is declare serial and implement serial coming to the next question the base class for the majority of the controls are c control c base ctrl t win c mfc ctrl so this is quite a tricky question and the answer is c win okay coming to the other options we don't have any class by these names in mfc the last question c rect is derived from c object yes or no the answer is no because c rect is not derived from c object okay that's all folks for uh, today's uh, session so thank you so much for watching so if you like this video please like it share it and comment it whether you like it or don't like it please comment give me suggestions how i can improve these particular sessions that helps you to understand bc++ and mfc program if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i post a video thank you so much for watching keep encouraging me thank you so much see you in the next session bye bye